Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jason and today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on Google Sheets. This is going to be a really brief tutorial on a few features that are included in Google Sheets that you may not be familiar with. I've got a few spreadsheets out there and I've had a lot of similar questions come in and I figured a video would do a much better job of explaining it, at least giving you the opportunity to see it versus me just writing it out, typing it up, and sending it to you. Let me go ahead and show you some of these features now. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much. Before I get into that, let me just quickly say that I'm gonna have several videos coming out, little snippet videos, three to five minute videos, showing you exactly how I get the most out of my spreadsheet. So subscribe to my channel if you're looking for something like this. Maybe you purchased my spreadsheet and you're um, wanting to get more videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified when those do go into my feed. Thanks again for watching. Let's get over to my computer now and I'll show you exactly um, some of these features that I think will help unlock some things for you on your spreadsheet. All right, so this is just the dummy version, uh, a demo version, if you will, of my spreadsheet. These numbers aren't real. It's just so you can kind of get an idea of um, a few things that uh, I think will help you, benefit you in just using your spreadsheet for your own business. So you can see very similarly, I've got tabs down here that should look exactly like yours if you bought the premium. If you have the basic, you have a few less tabs by about half, but just know that this this same video will work for both my basic and premium spreadsheets. Um, it doesn't matter which one you have, you can use these tools to your advantage. So a lot of questions that come my way are, I made a mistake and I don't know how to go back or accidentally del deleted something and I'm not sure how to get my sheet back to where it was. This is a very simple fix. You may not know this, but every time you make changes to your sheet, those changes are saved in the cloud in Google Sheets. So um, you can access them at any point. So let me show you how to do that. So this is obviously my spreadsheet that I sell and many of you have this. And so you're looking at something very similar to mine. So when you come up to this top right corner, you'll see like this little clock with an arrow winding back. You're gonna click that and you'll notice that it said last edit was four minutes ago. Um, so when I click into this, my screen grays out, letting me know that I am looking at all the versions that I have. And currently it's gonna start with the most recent version. So the one that you have right now in front of you, and it will go backwards the further down you get, the older those sa uh, saved sheets get. So if I wanted to go all the way back to the beginning of the spreadsheet, I could September 28th of 2022, I could click on that. And let me actually just do that and show you. So if I click on September 28th, it's gonna show you when I initially created the sheet um, because it's obviously blank. I haven't put anything in there. And you can skip around in your sheet and kind of view these different versions without doing anything. You're not changing anything. You're simply just viewing the different versions. Let's say I wanna to go to November 22nd at 9.54 a.m. I go in and I can see this version as it was on November 22nd of 2022 at 9.54 a.m., which was the edit that I made at that point. And then you can click on these different tabs and kind of review the information to see, uh, is this the version I wanna go back to? Now, what I would suggest is, if you're on the current version, which is what it defaults to when this screen opens up, again, it's still grayed out because I'm looking at the different versions, I would work my way back. So don't go all the way to the bottom, just start with the current and then look at that one and then click the next one. So I'd be going to March 28th, I would look at this. And if for some reason I look at this and go, yeah, that's the version that happened, this was the version right before I made the mistake, then I can restore this. So I could come in here, click restore this version, click yes, you wanna restore it, and it's gonna take me to that specific version. So the sheet that I have now will revert to the one that I just selected, March 28th, at 2.13 p.m. Now it's gonna take some time, it's pulling up all the changes that I made. Honestly, I don't even know what changes I made on March 28th, but that's the general gist of how you can restore a version in Google Sheets. And you'll see here, the color comes back on the screen, meaning this is the live version now. The version you selected is the one that you're currently working on right now. If I click back into um, my versions. Again, you'll notice that on today's date, May 31st, I went ahead and restored my spreadsheet from March 28th, and you'll see that revision. I can always go back to the one that I had right before this just by sim simply clicking on it like I did before and clicking restore. Again, it's really simple. 
So if you if you found you made a mistake, don't freak out. Just go in, restore an older version. Just note that if you restore a version, you will lose the data that transpired from the last one to this next one. It typically doesn't result in a lot because most of the time between versions, you've only made a few changes. But if you made a mistake and you need to go back before the mistake, that's a simple way to do it. That's the restore feature. And that one has solved most of the problems that I see troubleshooting coming my way. Next, let's address a second question, a common question that I get with people who may not be familiar with Google Sheets. I've had many people ask, I really want to be able to find something without having to scroll all the way up or down through the sheet. And as it gets bigger and bigger, that gets a lot harder to find an item. This is a very simple tool that um, you can use. So we're looking at my inventory tab. I'm actually gonna jump over to my sales tab because I've got more data pulled in here. Let's just say I wanna do a search for on this sheet, the sales sheet, an item that is titled Tommy Bahama. So what I'm gonna do is on from anywhere on the screen, you don't have to click anywhere, you just go to your keyboard and if you're on a Mac, you're gonna click Command F. And you'll notice that when you click Command and F as in find, that this pops up and it says find in sheet. And then you're gonna type in exactly what it is that you're looking for. So you'll see it pulled up one result up here and then it highlights it in green. At least that's what it does on the Mac. Um, I'm assuming it's gonna be the same on a PC because it's Google Sheets and not necessarily a computer, but that's what it looks like. So Command F on the Mac and I believe on the PC, it may be Command F, it may be Control F. You may just have to play around with it. Whatever that command feature is on the PC, that's going to be it. So same thing, we'll pull this bar up and then you can search for all the results that match that. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to type in Lauren. So I've got a lot of like Polo Ralph Laurens, um, Lauren James, and you'll notice that when I do that, it pulls up three results. So I did that really quickly. Lauren, um, it's pulling up everything that's got that exactly in there, Lauren and the title. So I've got three results and you can see they're all highlighted. So I can click down, it takes me to the next one. And then if I go down to the third one, Ralph Lauren button down. That's a quick way to find those items that you're trying to find. That is the find feature. All right, the last feature I want to address today on this video um, is again, another common question I get. And it's been coming in more and more. And so I think this will really help a bunch of you. Um, people have been asking, can I sort um, my columns uh, based on the column that I want. Yes, you can, but there's one key thing that you have to do first. So it's gonna look like this. It's gonna have one bar going all the, all the way across and this button right here will be highlighted. That means that cell is merged. Now, because it's merged, it won't let me sort the column. So what you need to do is come in here, highlight this top row, just the top one, that's it. Only the top row, that's important. Unmerge, so click that. And then you'll notice that that kind of grays out, meaning it, it no longer is merged. And you can see like these cells are no longer merged together. What it's doing, it's merging all of these into one cell. When you unmerge it, it makes them each individual cells. Now you can sort. So let's say I wanted to sort by a specific store, a store that I bought these items at. You're gonna come in, highlight the column. So I just clicked E here. I'm gonna sort by store. And then I'm going to click the arrow, and then you've got short uh, sort sheet A to Z or uh, sort sheet Z to A. Try saying that three times fast. So do you want it to go from A to Z ascending or Z to A des descending? I'm gonna select A to Z. You'll notice it automatically alphabetizes and sorts the whole chart based on um, starting with A's all the way up to Z's. Obviously I, I go A through T um, and it leaves these columns alone, meaning it doesn't doesn't mess with these because these are frozen, these are headers. Um, so I could come in here, uh, hit the arrow, short sort Z to A, it reverses it. I can choose any column that I want to sort that. If I wanna sort by cost, come in here, sort by cost. If I wanna sort by listed date, come in here, select A to Z, and you'll see it's sorted by listing date from, uh, from the least to the greatest or from the oldest to the newest. That is a simple tool that I think will help a bunch of you out. The ability to restore an old version, the ability to find an item by keyword, 
and the ability to sort your columns based on how you want to see the data. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified when I drop some of these other videos. Thanks so much. Hope you guys have a great day and hope this was helpful for you. We'll see you. Bye.